I am Super Draco 380 and welcome back to Why, the show where I don't always have an answer to that question. So we're going to continue the Iron Man uh, armory build. And so getting into it, we can see I'm actually going to be starting the actual armory. And finishing up some more minifigures. So anyhow, uh, first things first, I want to say, uh, I just want to say thanks to everybody who watches my content. Uh, thanks to uh, user or user Jesse on Fiction Press, who has reviewed my uh, uh, the first two chapters of my fantasy story. Thanks for reading. Thanks for watching. So, I wonder. I wonder if that's ego of me just jumping on board to say that they saw this. Anyway, so first up, we're building a war machine. Now, in all honesty, I'm not a fan of how this war machine's back weapons are done. It just seems a bit on the lazy side. But I also know why that is. It's because LEGO, with some limited exceptions lego doesn't like depicting realistic weapons and in the marvel movies the war machine armor has a lot of very realistic style weapons on it <laughs> so you know i understand it but i don't have to like it but I also appreciate at least they gave us the machine gun or whatever it is that comes over his shoulder. I kind of preferred in Iron Man 2 when it was a Gatling gun. Anyway. So, moving on from that, uh, I saw we had a new subscriber. And so let me bring up my studio so we can give you, give that person a shout out. All right, let me go get my phone because it's not showing up on my dashboard. Alright, so the new subscriber, uh, Brick Street Boy, welcome, thanks for watching, thanks for the subscription, uh, and uh, yeah, so we'll move on, but I always shout out my new subscribers if uh, it'll tell me who their name is. But I'm also curious because sometimes... My YouTube on my mobile will show me a subscriber who doesn't appear on my desktop. But, whatever. Can't do much about that. So, for the build, uh, and now, I believe we're building uh, his uh, one of his robots that... Uh, after the first Iron Man really stopped having any kind of importance in the films. Although it still had my favorite gag and or joke or dialogue in, in Iron Man. He said, if you spray me again, or if you douse me again, I will scrap you. Or something like that. Man, I, I gotta watch Iron Man in Iron Man 2 again. And I do admit I appreciate how articulated this robot arm is. Although there's an interesting disconnect. All the promo pictures show this robot with a uh, circular saw. But the instructions actually never show you putting the saw into its hand. The 
with you. I just thought that was a weird, uh, I guess you'd say it's a quirk. Because I guess since it's Lego, you can really put any tool or compatible brick in there, but regardless. And so now here's where the build gets a little boring, because uh, we're going to start building uh, the, uh, we're going to do uh, the, what you call it, the booths in the Hall of Armor. And then we're also going to build those four uh, holographic displays. So anyhow, uh, you know, if you don't want to listen to me, uh, you can always just mute it and listen to whatever you want while I build. I always tell everybody I don't begrudge how you enjoy anything. I also saw in the last few days one of my top videos is that short I did of Chloe uh, going absolutely nuts after I talked to her. Yeah, I live with that, so... Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm having fun today, but I'm going to see how much longer my voice uh, holds up. We're at about, we're about halfway through, so it might make it to the end of the video. Now, honestly, these holographic displays, I'm not a big fan of these. Uh, you know, you put a sticker on them so you really can't do much with them afterwards. I mean, you don't have to put a sticker on them, it's Lego, or you can take the sticker off. Now, since I'm not a big, hardcore Lego uh, builder and collector, I just follow the instructions and then utilize it for whatever I'm utilizing it. But, you know, with the dedicated parts for this, which there's not a lot, but it... And, you know, maybe my opinion is wrong or unfounded, but I think I would have rather had either another Iron Man suit, an Iron Patriot suit, or something instead of these holographic displays. Especially because that second display, I don't even think that suit's included in this, uh, in this set. Actually, I don't think the Mark 1's included in this set either. So it's like, what's the point of giving us these displays for suits that aren't even, uh, aren't even in the set? I mean, the Mark 1 I can understand because it was in one of the other sets, but still. Anyhow, so now we'll start building the booths. The build for this is very repetitive, uh, but it's still interesting the first time around. And it's a good use of parts, and I actually really like the new design of it. Uh, it actually looks a lot more dynamic. Sorry about that sudden interruption. Uh, my editing software... Uh, honestly, I don't know what happened. It just... Uh, it stopped recording audio, but continued recording audio. But then it jumped to the end of the video and stopped recording again. So, I just had to reboot the whole computer. And... Essentially what I did is I just uh, took a copy of the raw file, cut it to where the uh, where the issue starts, and then just spliced that, uh, that little transition in the middle just uh, to, uh, well really just to, uh, so that I didn't splice the videos together. So anyway, continuing where we are, um, I really do like these booths on um, those, uh, are those garage door window or garage door 
uh, panels that are being used for those little side windows. I'm not sure, but whatever they are, they really do help improve the presentation of the, uh, and the dynamic appearance of the booths for the armor. <laughs> Admittedly, I was complaining about the blueprint stickers, but I kind of miss how on the older ones that they that they had a sticker on that back panel of what suit of armor went in that panel. I mean, it goes both ways because on the one hand, if you don't actually have many figures for those suits, it kind of sucks. On the other hand, you know, I'd have rather done that than have like those four standing things. Like I said, I'd have rather had another minifig instead of those. But anyhow, since we built the first one, I'm just kind of building uh, the next three in triplicate. I know what I was thinking about before uh, so television wise uh, you know no surprise here seeing how I'm building Lego Marvel but uh, you know big uh, well I usually alternate the joke between am I a geek or a nerd because I can give you a different joke answer on a different day so lately you know I got into a bunch of anime. I've been watching the Kingdom of Ruin or Kingdoms of Ruin, whichever it is. It's been really good and messed up. So yeah, if you haven't seen that and you like, uh, I don't know if it counts as Isekai. I don't think it does, but it's definitely a sci-fi fantasy hybrid. Uh, very dark and twisted and admittedly if you read read my uh, story on fiction press you'll know that dark and twisted is right up my alley I better stop because now I think I'm starting to oversell my own fantasy story also it still feels a bit skeezy to self promote that much, that hard anyway Admittedly, with 2024 here, I'm excited. Uh, the Overlord movie should be coming this year. They announced a Chainsaw Man movie, but I imagine that may not be until next year. So that's both good and bad news, because waiting is the hard part. So... Looking at it right now, we're getting to the end of this build. Um, we're going to finish up these booths, and I think that's it for this one. So I'm going to go ahead and say thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out my uh, story on Fiction Press. I do have more content coming to Fiction Press. Uh, but right now, the fantasy story is just what's at the forefront of my brain. And I do appreciate the that they've continued to make these uh, clip together and where you put a bend in them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video, part three of this.